Hey, I'm Kev Kerr, Mr. Khan. Welcome back to Gravel Has. We're about to head into episode four, the Oceana League. As in, it looks like we've got four races to do, beginning with the Iron Mine. Out back, figure of eight layout, just under a kilometer long, four laps here. We've got to finish at least first in the trophy truck. This is a new venue. And we can do this in the Toyota T100, the Ford Raptor, or the Chevrolet Silverado, which is 50 horsepower more than the Ford. We have a drive 6.2 V8 turbo, the same has the Ford. Let's try out this Chevy Silverado then. And it's striking blue livery, or we could do the Scott Walker livery. Scott Parker livery, why do I keep saying Walker? Let's just do it with the blue. So we are revving up in the iron mine. Right at the bottom, don't want to be looking up. It seems like the only way you're going to get out of it is by winning. We've got four laps to do that. So we'll go down the inside the Ford and the Toyota. Get out of here, Toyota. Let's get up to second. Try and make the move on another Toyota. I'll show us up to third. Trying to make the move on the Toyota for second. He's got the outside heading into the final left hander. Let's just slow it down. Still on the outside. Looks like we've got a fellow Chevy in the lead. So we do take seconds. Just one car to overtake. Go through the water. It's crazy that they dump people down here as well. It's a hot air balloon the only way up and down. Is that why it's hovering there? So we go over the jump. Right in the wheel tracks of a fellow Chevy. Try and not slide it too much in the final corner. We can get a good run into the left hand on this third lap. Not quite close enough. Within tapping distance, not overtaking distance. We start the wheel wheel a bit too much. And the exit. There we go, through the right. Oh, there's a gap. What are you doing, fellow Chevy? You pushed us into the wall. Hopefully that doesn't now the Toyota to overtake. Go into the final corner. Try not to slide it too much. That's the one thing I do love about this game. It does actually require some finesse, even for an arcade racer. It looks like we're now pulling away. Let's final lap. Of course, I'm playing with no assists as well. Maybe with assists, you can just smash it. But there's enough here. That is interesting, driving wise. The physics as we go for the final corner. And we get the three stars. Well, that was tough. Very tough race. As we win by 1.4 seconds out of Blacko. We got Hunter Lee, Chevy 123. The Toyota of Pablo Rodriguez. And Ivan Olic in the Toyota in fifth. And then you've got Ahmed Gabriel in sixth. Then Rami Sazri. And then Rang Tao at the back. Let's go up to level 17. New car not Evo 6. Even though it shows a Porsche. And the new Chevy livery. And this track is now available in free race. That's now we head to the Blue Paradise. And the Pacific Ocean track for the over 1.53 kilometer song. Looks like it's an elimination race. And we're doing it once again in the D Extreme Racing class. As now we've got the Evo 10. Should we try it out? As what livery do we go with? Do we go with the Scott Parker livery? Let's just go with the default one. So here we are at night. This is pretty cool. And we're back with one of my favourite type of cars as well. These older rally cars. They try and make the move for fourth, not quite making it through. But luckily we've got 30 seconds between eliminations, so we've got plenty of time to be making moves here on the beach. So now we go through the jungle, down the inside. Four seconds. Nicely done as there goes Daniel Barbosa. Already. It's like very short lap as well, of course being an oval. Expect that. Bit wide in the first corner. 
all the way down to third as well. Probably shouldn't have done that. And then it's like we're chasing the hare here. Lee is out in front. So there goes Hunter Lee. Oh, that left-hander really do gain. Look at that, we're in bumping distance. Getting it down the inside for the lead. Cross the line side by side. Get your cameras out. It's all rubbing his racing. Still side by side. Oh, and there goes George Ross. There we go. Here's the corner to make the move. Down the inside for the lead. Yes. Now we've just got to hold it for a couple of minutes. So everyone's right in our tails still. Go across the line again. Let's get up to fourth as there goes the Lias. Go through the first couple of corners. That's definitely a weaker spot, that first corner. I mean, this left-hander is our strongest spot. Don't even need to lift, do I? Get down to fourth to keep the revs up, keep the momentum. And look in the bottom left, that's the gap we make up around the second through that corner. There's a guaranteed podium spot, there goes Tobias. So there we go, virtually cutting the corner, that's much better. Bogging down slightly in fourth though, in the exit. But then you can't really keep it in third for that corner. So we just be rev limiting. So we go through the section in fourth, and it's already built in our stable lead. As there goes Jacob Baker. Oh, we've got to survive this first corner for one final time, though. Down to third, then short shift up to fourth. Nice smooth exit. I think we've got this. At night, I do love this night racing. As we go into the jungle for our favourite corner for the final time and win. Easy peasy. Mitsubishi. Definitely love that car already, as we beat the on Snyder in the end. And we've knocked a new livery. As we head back to the iron mine and the outback for the short layout. 2.84 kilometers on. Got to get the best time this time in the cross country B class. So we can drive a Mitsubishi Pajero, Suzuki Grand Vitara Country Cross, a BMW X3 CC, or the Toyota Land Cruiser. I think we have a winner. And that turn looks pretty weird with that livery. And we could all almost there for the Porsche as well. Let's go with this livery. That looks a bit better. As we've got some wild rush here. I know it's smash up it, and it's like here's a wild rush adventure, I say. So we've got to beat Daniel Blacko's 1.43.112. Let's get at it. So we are revving up the engine. The bottom of the iron mine. Let's get underway, and there's already signs everywhere. This first part, look at this. This is very different from Alaska. Get up to fourth. Don't know how we got away with that, nicking backwards by accident. I, I tried to nick over the top of this, so I can barely see all these signs. Oh, that's not bad. You can carry the speed through the corner. Oh, but a tight line here. But then we've got the middle, that's good. It's been kind to us. On this run. So you go through the left hander. Not bad at all. So you approach halfway mark. All this so far. Oh, where's the arrows? Which was a bit earlier. Let's all just avoid the X there. Oh, now he can build the speed up. Look at this far section. Keep him up with the helicopter now. So we're just avoiding the arrows. Or avoiding the exit, should I say. 
It's all got an outside line. It's another tight left hand is going down to the bottom. The eye mine for the finish. We go through the middle. Surely that's first. Yes. Perfect run. As he won by four seconds ahead of Blacko. And here's the Suzuki Grand Vitara. Now 32 in third. As we have unlocked the Subaru WRX 2015. And it's like your bath gets a new livery and now this is available in free race. So that was a pretty tough event in the Iron Mine. Hopefully this last one isn't as we are in the blue paradise again. Pacific Ocean short layout. Four kilometers on, got three laps, got to get the best time. And so now we're in Class C. Oh, my favorite type of cars. As we've driven the Subaru, we've driven the Celica. Got the Ford Escort. We've got a Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 6. Not quite there for the Subaru Impreza 2003. Would have loved to have driven that car. Let's stick with the Evo 6. So we've already driven the Subaru from 95. Let's go with the classic livery. So it looks like we've got to beat a 136.5 from Dylan Hannison. This is just a time attack. We've already done this in the Supercross with that Porsche on that Italian Supercross track. Has Let's do this. 36.5. Even though it says a 36.4 for Mark Torres. Bit of an issue there. So we've got three laps to do this. Let's get going on this track. Don't cut the inside tyres. That would have been a horrible start. we up to sit. Look how wide open this track is already. Well, top gear is only fifth. Try and take the inside line. Got to get it down to four to keep the revs up. Again. No braking. Oh, maximum attack around these corners. Love to live in one of those huts while having this event. And the Mitsubishi Lance. Ah, go around the corners. That jump really upset the car. Go ahead to get it down the second there to make sure we hit the corner. That jump came out of nowhere. All right, this corner into the bridge. Let's get up to fourth, up to fifth. That's an out slightly in fifth, though. So you play with the boundaries, as you would expect to do in a rally car. Now you've got to cut some of the corners. Or else are you really driving a rally car, then? So we go in this little section. No, too much speed. Clip the outside, got to spin it around. Still got two laps, though, to do this. It's just a side to that for the track. For general speed as well. Because we don't want to go into the ocean. Just about keeping out. God, some of the contours are weird around it. You don't really see them, but then you're in the air. Or you're rolling, and you have no idea why. So let's see what this first lap is like. Probably last. No, sip. That's not too bad. There's a flat out, almost 130 miles per hour. Go through the left hander. Looks like we can keep it in fear. Get down to fourth again. As you can see, not lifting at all, just using the engine there. Get it down to four, keeping those revs up. Bit of engine braking around the corners as well. That time, that's better through that corner. Look at that nice inside line. Nice and smooth. Now into the bridge, that's much more aggressive as well. This is a good lap so far. Let's get down to third. Again, cutting that corner. As I say, we're in a rally car. Expect to do that. Couple of corners. As you drift. Get down to fourth. Watch out for this right hander. That's better. I don't know that's too much slowing down so much either, and it's like. So go on to the beach, don't want to go into the water. So we go flying. Get up to fifth. Now for the final corner, this should be close. To the top lap. 
It is. New record. We've done it. Let's have fun on this final lap then. This event hasn't turned out to be too bad. Let's go drifting slightly wide. Got to get down to fourth. There we go. Next acceleration. Now flat out. Heading towards the blimp. Hope you're getting a good shot, blimp. Let's drift it through the left-hander. That wasn't as smooth as our previous attempt. And now we're really carrying speed into that left onto the bridge. That was pretty nice. And a bit wider into that left hander, actually took conventionally for once. Didn't need these two actual bends. So we might actually beat our previous time. We must be pretty close at the moment. Especially we're going to be a bit more aggressive through that right. Need to take that in third. Now going on to the beach, get very sideways. No. It's going to clip the trees on the inside, so don't go too sideways. Back up to fifth though, as we're going to cross the line. Get another three stars. And complete the Oceana adventure. As we won by 2.4 cents ahead of the Ford Escort, then our fellow Evo 6 in third. So actually, Harrison is in third then, behind Torres. Just a bit of a glitch on that previous screen. So at the back is the Super Impressive from 2003. Why is that so bad? So on level 18, and we've got that track in free race now. So that is the Oceana League completed, episode 4 done. As next time, I'll be heading to episode 5 and the sands of Namibia. So we're going to be in the dunes. It's going to be fast, furious, hopefully fun as well. The checkpoint races, maybe smash ups as well. It's going to be lots of Wild Rush events, isn't it? And then we've got the Wild Rush Master after that. But start for watching and I will see you next time. Don't even need third around this track. Just need first and second as you are going to finish second. Thank you, Toyota. A crap load of tyres at the rear. Barely see over them as we've already been hit. I'm just like a bucking Bronco landing there. We've got the inside line into the left hander. What are you doing, Ford? We've got four laps to do it. Just try and go down the inside of our fellow Chevy. There's almost halfway through this event. No. So we go at the finish. This is fifth. God damn it. Oh, how have you cut the X there? Come on. Outside again. I can't see. God damn it.